Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Guys, it's been nearly 107 years since the fictional character of Jack Dawson died in the sinking of the Titanic. More than 1,500 passengers really did die, and that's super sad. But while our hearts will go on, let's not forget that the Titanic isn't the only ship disaster worth remembering. In fact, we found 10 other ships that suffered equally tragic fates. Let's call up James Cameron and see if he's willing to make them into love stories. Number 10. The Wilhelm Gustloff, 1945 One of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. The Gustloff, which launched in 1937, was originally built as a cruise ship to cater to working-class Germans. But once Germany launched its Blitzkrieg on the rest of Europe, the ship was turned into a hospital and then as a U-boat training school. The war was humming along nicely for the Nazis, until it wasn't. By 1945, the tides had turned and the Red Army was pushing westwards towards Germany. As the Soviets reached Gotenhafen, present-day Gdynia, Poland, the Germans began loading the Gustloff up with military personnel and civilians alike in order to evacuate them to Kiel, Germany. As the ship left, it was spotted by a Soviet submarine and promptly torpedoed. Of the 10,000 passengers, less than 1,000 managed to survive. Number 9. RMS Empress of Ireland RMS Empress of Ireland, which sank in the St. Lawrence River in May 1914, claimed the lives of 1,012 people out of the 1,477 people on board. It was the second major cruise ship disaster after the Titanic disaster. The ocean liner operated on the North Atlantic route between Quebec and Liverpool in England. The passenger steamship collided with the 6,000-ton Norwegian collier, the Storstad, following a thick fog which engulfed the river. Just five of the 42 lifeboats could be launched into the water due to the listing of the vessel on her starboard side. The accident was aggravated by the cold conditions, failure to close the ship's watertight doors, and failure to close all portholes aboard. Number 8. Mont Blanc, 1917 what comes to mind when you think of Canada? If you answered, a land of giant explosions, I would accuse you of wildly exaggerated things, except on one particular day in Nova Scotia's Halifax Harbor, when a collision between two ships created the largest man-made blast in history until the atomic bombs were dropped on Japan. It went down like this. As World War I was taking place, a French ship known as the Mont Blanc was heading to Europe filled to the brim with explosives. Unfortunately, it collided with the Emo, a ship on its way to New York to load up on relief supplies to deliver to Belgium. The Mont Blanc caught fire, and a crowd of curious onlookers gathered to watch, because, let's be honest, Netflix was still around 90 years from being invented. Too bad, because about 20 minutes after the collision, the fire ignited the nearly 3,000 tons of explosives, instantly vaporizing people, taking out buildings, and setting entire city blocks on fire more than 9,000 would be left homeless. The blast even triggered a tsunami. Number 7. The Sultana, 1865 Sheer stupidity, and admittedly, some understandable desperation. The American Civil War had just wrapped up, and Union soldiers were being released from brutal Confederate POW camps. Weak and malnourished, they really wanted to get back home. The federal government would pay steamboat companies $5 per enlisted soldier and $10 per officer to transport them. Looking to make a ton of extra money, steamboat operators began accepting bribes and ignoring capacity limits. You can see where this is heading, right? The legal maximum capacity of the Sultana was 400, but more than 2,400 people were allowed on board. In the early morning of April 27th, as the Sultana was making its way up the Mississippi River, Three of the ship's four boilers blew up, engulfing the boat in flames. Many of the passengers burned to death, while the force of the blast sent others plunging into the roaring waters. Additional people jumped into the river to escape from the fire, only to drown. Number 6. RMS Lusitania The sinking of RMS Lusitania in May 1915, after being hit by the German military submarine U-20, caused 1,200 deaths during a voyage from New York to Liverpool. She was considered the largest, fastest, and most luxurious ship in the world at the time of her launch in June 1906. 
The Lusitania disaster resulted in the death of many Americans and became one of the major reasons behind the U.S. entering World War I. The Germans were accused of breaching international laws by firing without warning on a non-military vessel. Pushing the event further into the legal gray zone, the British had been using the Lusitania to transport war munitions under the hope that the Germans wouldn't attack it, which is also a violation of international laws of war. Number 5. The Arctic, 1854 Nearly 60 years before the Titanic met its fate, the Arctic, a transatlantic ship that could sail from Liverpool to New York City in a mere nine days, experienced its own tragedy. Sailing through thick fog, the Arctic collided with a smaller French steamship known as the Vesta off the coast of Newfoundland. As the Arctic began to fill up with water and sink, the captain began to organize an evacuation of the passengers, ordering that women and children be put on lifeboats first. But the cowardly crew and many of the male passengers made for the lifeboats, leaving every single woman and child to die once the Arctic sank. Number 4. John Rutledge, 1856 On January 16, 1856, the American ship John Rutledge left for New York from Liverpool with 16 crewmen and 120 passengers. During the transit, two people were perished due to the terrible weather conditions. On February 19th, the ship knocked against an iceberg, which broke in its bows. The water pouring in could not be pumped out, and before it would have sunk, everyone on board abandoned the ship on five boats. Unfortunately, all the lives were lost in the sea except one, Thomas W. Nye, starved and frozen to death. After drifting for nine days, he was rescued from the ship Germania from a lifeboat full of dead bodies, which were then cast into the water. Number 3. Pacific, 1856 Pacific was built to outclass all transatlantic steamers in the 1850s. On January 23, 1856, the ship departed for New York from Liverpool with 186 people on board, 45 passengers, and a crew of 141. But neither did reach its destination, nor any trace of it could be found later. However, in the summer of 1861, a note in a bottle was found washed ashore on the Hebrides island of Eust. It was from a William Graham which said, On board the Pacific, from Liverpool to New York. Ship going down. Great confusion on board. Icebergs all around on every side. I know I cannot escape. I write the cause of our loss that friends may not live in suspense. The finder of this will please get it published. Based on the weather conditions then, it was assumed that icebergs had sealed the ship's fate. Number 2. The USS Indianapolis The USS Indianapolis had delivered the crucial components of the first operational atomic bomb to a naval base on the Pacific island of Tinian. On August 6, 1945, the weapon would level Hiroshima. But now, on July 28th, the Indianapolis sailed from Guam without an escort to meet the battleship USS Idaho in the late Gulf of the Philippines and prepared for an invasion of Japan. The next day was quiet, with the Indianapolis making about 17 knots through swells of 5 or 6 feet in the seemingly endless Pacific. As the sun set over the ship, the sailors played cards and read books. But shortly after midnight, a Japanese torpedo hit the Indianapolis in the starboard bow, blowing almost 65 feet of the ship's bow out of the water and igniting a tank containing 3,500 gallons of aviation fuel into a pillar of fire shooting several hundred feet into the sky. Then, another torpedo from the same submarine hit closer to midship, hitting fuel tanks and powder magazines and setting off a chain reaction of explosions that effectively ripped the Indianapolis in two. Still traveling at 17 knots, the Indianapolis began taking on massive amounts of water. The ship sank in just 12 minutes. Of the 1,196 men aboard, 900 made it into the water alive. Their ordeal, which is considered the worst shark attack in history, was just the beginning. Of the Indianapolis's original 1,196-man crew, only 317 remained. Estimates of the number who died from shark attacks range from a few dozen to almost 150. It's impossible to be sure. But either way, the ordeal of the Indianapolis survivors remains the worst maritime disaster in U.S. naval history. Number 1. Doña Paz, 
1987. Just before midnight of December 20th, 1987, the passengers of the MV Doña Paz were confronted with a choice, to die by drowning or to die by burning. They heard a large explosion, a hair-raising clanking of metals. Then all the lights went out. Immediately after, a sound of explosion, followed by flames that engulfed the ship and its unfortunate passengers. Some were able to jump overboard, only to be met by a watery inferno caused by gasoline and kerosene that spilled out of the ship that collided with their vessel. Out of what could have 4,386 on board, only 24 had survived. Later dubbed Asia's Titanic, it was believed that the Doña Paz was carrying twice as many passengers as it was legally permitted to do. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.